welcome everyone to Sweet Spire Literature Stories. And uh, we have here our featured author today. So he is um, Kent Handy, Mr. Kent Handy. And together, um, his wife, Vilma. So say hi. hi. <laughs> okay. So I would like to take the opportunity to thank you. This is such a brave moment for all of us. It's such a brave moment for all of us to be able for you to come here and share your story. Mm -hmm. So uh, Kent is the author of The Dark Secrets of Woodruff County. Okay, I have had the chance uh, to review and read this book and I felt compelled really to have this understanding of what the book is all about. So what inspired you to start writing and your biggest influences in this book? Um, I, 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 um, I, I was in a habit of talking to people that I met, you know, seemed like everywhere I would go, I would make mention of it. And, and one day I just thought, thinking about it, um, I'm not as young as I was when it happened. I'm getting older and I didn't want to uh, leave this planet without people knowing what happened to my family and myself. So mm -hmm. I, I've taken some time um, away from my record label, which, which is what I was doing at the time. I've taken some time away from that to write this story. Of course, I've had to travel back and forth to Arkansas to get specific dates and you know to make sure I had everything spot on. Uh, and and I and I wrote it. To and I wrote it. Um, I tried to write it where the reader could understand it through my eyes. Mm -hmm. They could see this story through my eyes. So. Okay. And speaking of which, I, I heard uh, Kant saying that this book has the biggest influence in your family. So I would like uh, to know more in terms of the inspiration. The inspiration is that you wanted to speak the truth out. Yeah. You wanted to speak the truth out. So, what is what is the main the main message of this book pertaining to your family? Um, that uh, the main message is to me that justice is worth fighting for. Justice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's been a long journey uh, with this book. Um, you know, I I have been seeking justice since it since it happened to my family, mm -hmm. and with uh, limited capital, uh, and of course the color of my skin, it hasn't been easy. <laughs> and uh, it's been an uphill battle. I mean, when I first wrote this book, when I first started writing this book, my grandfather was living, my grandmother was living, my mother was living, my aunts and uncles were living. And almost all of them have passed away, you know, and I'm still uh, just uh, the 18th of this month. I was um, sent down with the uh, Office of Congress. Uh, they are going to be moving forward with um, contacting the Department of Justice. Yes. To reopen this case and to help me get these bodies exhumed. I mean, it's, it's still a fight. It's still, a, you know, it's still yes. on, ongoing. Well, so. I, I really like how justice justice is available for everyone, but it's it's when you only seek to find it yes. that it can be delivered to you. Yes. Get the bodies exhumed and all this, and um, he come down with cancer, and he died before we could actually have it done, and that kind of set me all the way back to day one because I didn't have his contacts. Oh. I didn't have I didn't know the people he knew and I didn't know how to do the things he was doing. So I was back at square one. Mm -hmm. You know? And um so it's been a like I said, it's been um a, a challenge. This could be the results of it. 
that you can actually take the lives of children. That's which is, which is, it, it really hurts. Because yeah. speaking of racism, speaking of inequality, I mean, where's the inclusivity in all of this? But anyway, Kent, I look forward that in the future, this could be the voice, this could be the way, this could lead us into something positive. So um, now's the time. If you want to thank your wife, she has been there with you. Yeah. So she know I thank her. <laughs> Putting up with me, being patient, waiting on me. There's so many nights um, I, I didn't go to bed. I was right there. Yes. Yeah. So it's been yeah, it's been uh, it's been a journey. But mm -hmm. you know what? Through it all. <laughs> you be strong Ken you be strong because like what I said this book this book is going to make waves out there you just have to stay strong and stay on the battle stay on the road and your wife's here your daughter the entire family is rallying up we are rallying up sweet spire supports sweet spire supports inclusivity we support justice so we support that so by the help of god yes god is always only there by the help of god that i have come this far you have and you will so kent thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to do the interview but i want you now to speak to our listeners and to the people who we're going to share the message into so just an inspiring message to everyone yeah. Um, I just want to thank everybody for the love and support, for all the prayers, for um, purchasing the book, for, for everything. Uh, I just like to say thank you. And uh, continue to keep me in your prayers as I go forward in this journey. That's pretty much it. Thank you so much again.